now i'll consider one more example for the turing machine uh, here like this expression you are familiar of right what is the expression over this is called a regular expression a regular expression is one for which we can construct a finite automata for it so why we are using this regular language or regular expression for the construction of turing machine is like turing machine accepts unrestricted language so it includes all context free grammar all your uh, all the context free language all uh, context sensitive language and all uh, finite uh, regular language can be again constructed uh, again uh, accepted by this turing machine so the level of restriction like this right a uh, regular language and a context free language and we have a context sensitive language and finally you have this uh, unrestricted language so this unrestricted language includes all these things so whenever it is a context free language or context sensitive or language or a regular language any problem we take we can solve that using a turing machine so we are going to consider one example for this criteria so this actually describes either a or b a plus b the whole star zero or more combinations of ab and it is followed by ab exactly ab and it end with zero or more a or b so this actually describes the language contains ab as substring the input is made up of a, uh, a and b combination and it has ab as a substring so here for proceeding with the turing machine we can again consider the same as that of a determinate finite automata for it the same case can be used over here so we can have a starting state q not so when the input is exactly ab we can reach this accepting state so this is the final state when the input is just a and b we can directly reach the accepting state so here in case of your turing machine we can't express the inputs like this right when it is a we just have it as an a more right and the next input is b then this b can be represented so when you exactly have a followed by b we are accepting it but the case is not always the same what happen in q not if the input starts with a then we have a transition if it starts with a b again no problem right we can have n number of b's and again if you have a b we can go to final state so here i can have a self loop condition for all the b's i just keep on moving right and once i have a a i make a transition from q not to q1 so when the input contains a it will move to this q1 and in q1 when the input is b we have a transition what happen if you have a a so when i have uh, some a one a and if it is the next element is b no problem but if you have some a's in between a a a b then we can consider this right in q1 when you have an input as a if the next element is b then it is accepted right it is ab as a substring at somewhere in the input we should have an ab so here i can i can have a self loop for all n number of a's i just have this a as it is i just keep on moving right and once i have this b i can move to this accepting state final state okay so this is a symbolic representation when the input contains ab we can reach this final state but we have one more problem right we have to define the rejection state in case of your turing machine uh, whenever we feel that the input need to be rejected then surely we have to create a rejection state for it now uh, we'll decide what all the possibility of getting a rejection state for example if the input is fully made up of b then we stay in the state q not itself so here again in the turing machine i told you like uh, the inputs are written in the tape and all the remaining spaces are there with the blank symbol if the input contains all the elements as a b then surely we re we stay in this q not state itself we just keep on crossing all the b's and finally we reach a blank symbol in the q not it says that we never ever found a so that is one rejection state i can have in q not if i have the input symbol as blank symbol then i need to reject the input this is q rejection one step and again here if you have b and a combination but after a if you don't have a b like an input that uh, i can have a structure like this i have some n number of b's and some a's that's it if there is no b over here so in that case again i stay in the state q1 itself i have n number of a's and i have some a's also but this a is not followed by b in that case again i have the blank symbol over here instead of b so in that stage i have to accept i have to reject it so i have this transition as in q1 state if the input is again blank symbol q rejected so these are all the most important possible rejection states 
that need to be followed so this is the final transition diagram that represents uh, a lang that accepts a language that contains ab as a substring thank you